How can you possibly oppose freedom for your own people? I understand it can be hard to grasp, living sheltered within the tower and unaware of the outside world. Resenting the tower walls, the Templars, the rules that keep us separate from everyone else. All mages live lives of limited possibilities. We are denied fairness due to an accident of birth. But no one said that life was fair. The world is not made up of mages and Templars or circles and chantries. There is no us and no them. There are only people. People who must share a world which is not portioned equally among all. My own people want a larger share of the world, uncaring that they have already been granted great power. Granting mages freedom doesn't take freedom from anyone else. But that's precisely what it does, my dear. Fair to who? The wolves howl and claw at the fences that hold them back. Take pity and you let them loose among the lambs. And what do the sheep do? Panic. And the scent of their fear drives the wolves to attack. It'll take time, but people can learn not to fear magic. One cannot unlearn a primal fear. Like fire or heights, it is not about prejudice. It is about survival. You're taking the analogy a little far, don't you think? No, the example doesn't do the situation justice. Every creature knows a wolf. How do you recognize a mage? I care for the witch hunts that will come. I care for the angry mobs who string up mages on gibbets for the vultures. I care that my stupid brethren will kill and be killed by frightened people defending their families from monsters. I will stand in opposition to that, whatever you may do. <laughs>